Extended weather here in Seattle continues. And tonight, a new opponent arrives in town from the Dominion of Canada. It's the Toronto Blue Jays in town to take on the Seattle Mariners in a three-game set. Glorious night here at Safe Go Field. Glad you're with us for some Major League Baseball. Mariners swing the bats pretty well of late. Dave Sims starting with uh, Mike Blowers. And, Mike, it has been a nice little run here by the Mariners swinging the bats, showing some offense, which they didn't have in the first part of the season. It has been, and it's been fun to watch the young guys and the new guys getting the job done. Casper Wells being one of them. Casper Wells coming over in the Doug Fister trade has really swung the bat well as of late on Saturday. He hits a home run deep into the Mariners' bullpen out in the left center field. Hit the ball a long way against Josh Beckett, one of the better pitchers in the American League this year. And then again on Sunday, he comes back and gets a knuckleball off of Tim Wakefield and rips it down the line into the seats for a couple of home runs for Casper Wells as of late. He's one of the hot hitters in the Mariners' lineup. Interesting pitching matchup tonight. You got Michael Pineda for the Mariners. He'll be going against the youngster from Venezuela, from Valencia, same hometown as Felix Hernandez. Henderson Alvarez. And Michael Pineda has pitched well in his last couple of outings, trying to find his form again. After the All-Star break, it struggled a little bit, but lately, finding the strike zone. A hard slider there in Arlington. Struggled early in that game day, but was able to sit back, get himself back together, and stay around in a ball game that looked like he was going to be out early. One of the things Eric Wedge was really impressed by with the young man. Very uh, poised and controlled. And he's been a great learner all year, and, and Eric Wedge said that. It's been very consistent on that for the entire season for Michael Pineda. Sit back and relax, everybody. Got a good one coming up. The Blue Jays, the Mariners had their problems with them. And the Mariners have had some interesting games here over the last few days. And these are some of the key plays in the Boston series. Toronto's up next. Mariners and the Blue Jays. Mariner baseball, first pitch straight ahead. Baseball and Root Sports is brought to you by Banner Bank, Better Ideas, Better Banking, by CenturyLink. Quest is now CenturyLink. Visit CenturyLink.com to learn more. And by the Emerald Queen Casino, presenting Grammy winner Johnny Lang with J.J. Gray this Friday night. For tickets, go to EmeraldQueen.com. Hi, friends. Angie Menzink here at the Northwest Ford Sports Desk. Just to my right, the American League's home run leader, Jose Bautista, is warming up. Coming up tonight, we will let you know how the guys who are chasing him are doing. Curtis Granderson and Mark Teixeira. Also, someone in baseball hit a major milestone. We'll fill you in on that. But right now, we connect with Brad Adam out in center field in the pen presented by Root Sports. For more on Mike Carp, who's looking to hit or extend a minor milestone. Absolutely, and joined by our baseball analyst, Mr. Bill Kruger. What a month it's been for Mike Carpenter. You pointed out earlier, it's halfway through, and he's a, a fourth of the way to Joe D's hallowed mark of 56 straight games. So we, we're not getting, you know, we're not <laughs> quite not, there yet, right? Take him there but 14, quickly. very impressive. Hit 368 during the, the streak, Bill, and, and some pops, some RBI, some on-base percentage. I mean, he's been doing it all this month. And he's really taken hold of the middle of the order. Left-handers, right-handers. He hits off-speed pitch as well. He uses the whole park. He smears some balls in, in the alley for doubles and triples. I mean, he's got, since the recall, you know, four homers, but he's got a triple and six doubles. And he's come up in clutch situations and delivered. Yeah, and he's been mighty impressive uh, and fun to watch. And really, the numbers that he had to keep putting up, much like Edgar Martinez had to do, keep showing those big numbers in AAA and eventually... The smarter people figured out that you could really hit. 14-game <laughs> hit streak. He's reached base in 23 consecutive games. The longest streak in the majors and the longest by a Mariner this year. Speaking of the Mariners, of course, getting ready to take on the Jays in game one of the set. Alvarez and Pineda lineups are next. Mariners are a feel-good story right now. They just took two out of three from Boston the second time they've done it this year. Now, they set their sights on the Toronto Blue Jays who make their only visit. And all the Ichiro wannabes, they are showing up here tonight for game one of this three-game series on a beautiful night for baseball in Seattle. Welcome, everybody, to Mariner Baseball. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and the Root Sports crew. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Blue Jays. That'll face Michael Pineda. Leading things off, it'll be Escobar hitting an even 310 home runs on the year for Thames. 
And then there he is, Jose Bautista. He has cooled off lately, but still 34 home runs on the year for him. Lynn, the cleanup hitter, then it's on Carnarcion. Rasmus comes over from the Cardinals. He will hit six. Lowry Hill and Aaron Sebia, the catcher, hits ninth. Numbers for Michael Pineda, ERA to five or three five seven. 136 innings pitched for him, 137 strikeouts. Opponents average just 206. First pitch from Michael Pineda in there for a strike. Corey Blazer, the home plate umpire. Tim McClellan at first, Brian Rungi at second, and Marvin Hudson at third. Strike one to Unel Escobar. First time these clubs are meeting since. July 19, 20, and 21 sweep in Toronto by the Jays. Since then, the Jays are 11 and 10. And the Mariners are 9 and 12. Right here, that's good bar lunging. 71 degrees, and the wind's calm here. Safe go field. Back hard with the fastball and miss two and two. He is going to have to do that a lot in today's game. I think if he wants success, come inside. Left handed and right handed hitters. Keep them honest. Full count now. Skibard, 10 homers, 41. 41 runs batted in a 300 average payoff. Blue Jays as a club have hit 136 home runs on the year. That's fifth in the American League. They do swing the bat. 3 2 again. Buzzed him. Lost him on the walk. The native came into tonight's game 137 strikeouts, 45 walks. Fourth highest scoring team in the American League is Blue Jays, 563 runs. Here's Eric Thames. Saw him back in July. Mariners took two out of three for the Jays. Early part of the season here at Safeco Field. Well hit, right field, and goodbye. Eric Thames just jumped all over that pitch. Two nothing, Toronto. There was little doubt. For Thames, his eighth. Home run, RBIs 26 and 27. Jumps on a first pitch fastball at 93 miles an hour, hammers it into the seats. This is something that we saw earlier. These teams that can swing it and try to go deep, that he is going to have to find a way to get his slider and his changeup. If he can't get his slider closer to the plate, they will eliminate that pitch and sit on his heater. Here's Bautista. Leads the major leagues in homers, walks, on base percentage, slugging, OPS, first in home runs. Per at bat 11.5. He has got some resume. And he's coming off a recent 5 for 36. Said, hey, he's swinging. He's just better. Already, already <laughs> leading the universe. That's scary, isn't it? Right, coming <laughs> off a 5 for 36. Ain't doing better. Oh, jeez. There's a good fastball from Michael, 97 miles an hour. This fastball up to this point has been 92-93. Oh, and two to Jose Bautista. Struck him out. Looked right after him at 96. Bautista struck out 76 times. Throwing a couple of fastballs by Batista with a lot of anger in him after the home run to Thames. Pineda's fastball has jumped up four or five miles an hour. Well said, anger. And last time Bautista and company were here, here's Adam Lynn. Jose was very impressed by Pineda. 
Jets when he told me about if he were to become effectively wild like Mr. Ryan, uh, keep a lot of people loose. Michael throws a lot of strikes. And even though he throws hard and he's an intimidating presence on the mound, he starts to throw so many strikes the hitters get comfortable. Check the swing. Here's Seager charging, throwing off the back foot. Nice scoop by Carp. Carp very comfortable being back at first base. His natural habitat, if you will. He's he's played well over there. Seager coming across a bit of a sinker across the diamond, but Carp's able to pick it easily as he stretches out. Michael likes it. Two nothing on the Eric Thames home run. Two outs. Here's Edwin and Carnacion. You're right, Mike. You got to put some doubt in there. You can't let him get up there and be comfortable digging in, running up the box. And I think that's especially true if he struggles early in the game getting his slider over to the right handed hitters. That's one way to keep him honest. If you can't do it with a breaking ball his last couple he's been able to throw for a strike so that'll help him out. But what you don't want them to the Blue Jays to do is start eliminating pitches and just sit on your fastball. And with all the great things that Michael does as he walks to Carnacion. As his fastball even though he can rush it up there at 98 miles an hour it is straight. Colby Rasmus picked up recently from the St. Louis Cardinals. So far, Michael looks like he's not getting the high strike. Rasmus 59 at bats for the Blue Jays since he was traded over. He only hit one home run, five doubles for him. Foul back up this way. Eighteen pitches for Michael in the first inning. Rasmus coming off a recent uh, 0 for 15 streak. With the Cardinals, 11 homers, 40 runs batted in, a 246 hitter. Two strikes. Good looking pitch off the outside corner at 96 miles an hour. How much of a lead at first by Encarnacion? One two pitch to Rasmus. Two and two. Pitch count. Starting to mount here on Pineda. Sixth hitter in the inning. Michael's five and two here at home, a two three three ERA. Two two pitch. Got him. Big blow, Eric Thames. First pitch he sees a rocket into the right field stands. Two run homer. Toronto leads. Mariners coming to bat. Has come to bat. Take a look at the Mariner lineup that'll be facing Henderson Alvarez. He's your own leading things off. Frankly, good air, a seven game hitting streak for Brian starting to come alive. Ackley Carp, 14 game hitting streak for Mike Carp. He's been on fire. He will hit cleanup. And it's Wells, Olivo, Trayvon Robinson back in the lineup hitting seventh. Seeger and then Jack Wilson will hit ninth. First pitch to Ichiro outside. Second major league start for Alvarez. Got a report on Alvarez. His fastball between 95, 96 miles an hour. Throws a heavy sinker. Will also mix in a slider and a changeup. There's his work against the Athletics in his first outing of the year. Five and two thirds innings for him. He threw 104 pitches, three earned runs, just one walk. That off the fist. That is a foul ball. Third 
Third base umpire Marvin Hudson all over. Decent call for him. So they're looking to add to the itchy meter. They are ready to work as usual. Fouled off. Look out right into the camera. Definitely got one of the microphones. Henderson Alvarez, he's six one, a buck seventy five, just twenty one years old. His second start is going up against each row. Great numbers against the Jays. He is throwing hard here in the first inning. Ninety seven miles an hour on that last fastball. Pat Henkin won 19 games for the Blue Jays in their 93 World Series year. He said he had been having some trouble on his turn. You'll notice he's doing a little bit like Felix and out of the Louis Tion school with that it's a little bit of an exaggerated turn. His hero, Felix Hernandez, and they're trying to get Felix to come over and meet him tomorrow. Both from Valencia, Venezuela. 2-2. Hank can tell a funny story about when he was he was young in, in his career. He had grown up in Detroit, Pat Henkin, and Paul Molitor was with the Blue Jays at the time. And Henkin said Alan Trammell was his guy growing up. So Molitor said, oh, we can hook that up. So he got Trammell. Zetro bounces one to the second baseman Hill. Throws him out. Molitor set up so Trammell would meet him, and what he did, he met him out at center field during batting practice. And while Henkin was on the bucket, Trammell stayed with him for the last round of BP. He just met and chatted with him. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, had a long visit with him. <laughs> Take a look at the Blue Jays' defense today's game. That's great. And I'm sure Felix will go over and have a conversation oh, yeah. with the young man too. They, they they like to do that. Here's Gutierrez. Another product of Venezuela. Motoring the second and he's in with a double. Franklin Gutierrez, his bat is coming alive, folks. Started today at 222. And you know he's down in the 180s. And here he comes. That's his ninth double. Eight game hitting streak for Franklin now. This ball bounds down the line. Easy double for him. He's had multi hit games in five of his last six. So getting a base hit here in the first has a chance to add to that. It's an over Brett Lurie hit. You can certainly see over the last week what a difference it makes when Franklin is swinging the bat well. He goes from down towards the bottom of the lineup. All of a sudden, he's hitting second because of the success he's had lately. He makes such a difference. We've been watching him steal some bases along with still playing a gold glove caliber center field. Aaron Sibia going to have to speak with Alvarez. Dustin Ackley hitting 297 coming into the game, five home runs. 25 RBIs for Dustin. Aaron Sebia said that the movement on this kid's pitches are ridiculous. They said it just like Felix. He has copied so much from Felix Hernandez, it's unbelievable. I spoke to Greg Zahn. He's here doing some broadcasting for the Blue Jays, caught the big leagues for a long time. Yeah, and one. he said exactly the same thing. He said he throws a heavy 95 mm -hmm. miles an hour. As a hitter, Feel like it's taking a bat out of your hands, right? Yeah, you just feel like you're hitting a bowling ball sometimes, and when they really get it going, that's exactly what it feels like. And it, you're just going to see a lot of ground balls from them. One one to Ackley. Right now, he looks like he's just staying with his fastball. He has a good one here in the first. <laughs> That's very good. Well done, fellas. Go ahead and hit the K up there in Ackley, Dustin. And you can get on one of these 97 mile an hour fastballs. Oak is back. Hill will take care of it. Goes Adam Lynn. Two outs. He did as the third. First off speed pitch from Alvarez. Well, here comes Mike Carp. All he possesses right now is the longest hitting streak in the major leagues at 14 games. Dan Uggles 
streak being stopped yesterday. Did you see the catch that the second baseman made for Chicago? I, I heard about it. Oh, I did not see it. It was sicker than sick. Over the shoulder running catch. Look at the numbers for Mike Carp during his hitting streak 368 average, four doubles, a couple of home runs, 16 RBIs in the 14 games. He is he has really played well since being recalled. He has 15 RBIs in the month of August. The rookie record for the Mariners is 20 mm. by Carlos Guillen. So halfway through the month, he has a pretty good start at it. Not bad. Aaron Hill made all three assists. All three outs to Adam Lynn. Runner to third, can't score him. Do nothing, Toronto. Now grown into its own seven inch bobblehead. Saturday, August 27th, Mariners beat the White Sox, and the first 20,000 fans get a one of a kind Larry Bernandez bobblehead thanks to Root Sports. For tickets, go to Mariners.com slash tickets. Well, murmur in the crowd is Langley, BC's Brett Lowry, 21 year old rookie third baseman, stands in. Danielle Laurie. And it's more than a murmur now. <laughs> Danielle left University of Washington in 2009. Great success there. Now she gets to watch her brother get an opportunity to play in the big leagues. Done all right. So far, first nine games, 11 for 31. Seven ribbies and two home runs. Josh Farrell, the manager. Told uh, Laurie, you know, it's okay to say no because you're going to have a million people that say they know you come out of the woodwork looking for tickets. It's okay to say no. You should have done. He's called his sister because I bet she could have hooked him up too. <laughs> <laughs> On deck, Aaron Hill. Boy, Pineda muscled up on that one. 95 hits some movement on it. Third strikeout. Well, Michael just going right at him, 95 miles an hour, belt high. Just throws it right past Brett. Takes a hack, doesn't he? Yes, he does. There's Aaron Hill, the second baseman. He was busy in the first inning. Three assists. Two no. Good looking pitch for Michael. Or a blazer. A little bit tight on the strike zone here early in the game. He's loosened things up a little bit for Michael. Popped it up. Boy, that is way up there. Olivo taking a look. No play. Aaron Hill two and one. Boy, Hill at 36 homers in 09, 26 in 2010 and here he is in game number 120. Five home runs and 41 runs batted in. In 09 he had 195 hits. That was fifth in the American League so far here mid August just 84 hits Oof. for him. Okay. Going off the table. Hey, look at the numbers. 291 in 07, his first year was 17 home runs, solid first year. And then in 09, had a huge year and just struggling the last couple of years with his batting average. 26 home runs for him last year, only five this mm. year. Lions out to his opposite number, Dustin Ackley, two down. And when things aren't going well, this is what happens. Hits it hard right on the nose, but unfortunately for him, it's a line drive to Dustin Ackley, and Michael Pineda happy about that. Gets a quick out. Dustin's been very solid at second base. Used to catcher J.P. Aaron Sebia. Not hitting for an average, but he's got 19 homers. Strike one.
Eusebius hit seven home runs since the Mariners last saw him. Three game lost in Toronto, part of that 17 game losing streak. Toronto wins 6 5. That went 14 innings, 11 6 and 7 5. There's John Farrell, he's the pitching coach, gentleman behind the bat, that boy there, first year manager. He's the pitching coach for the Red Sox the last few years. Two and two. Don Wakamatsu, the former Mariner manager, bench coach. Cart might have a play. Alibo might have a play. But they don't. Two and two to JP Aaron Sebia. Thirty seven pitches for Michael. Had to throw twenty two pitches in the first. Good news for Michael is because he throws a lot of strikes, he can have a couple of quick innings and get his pitch count back in order. 2 2 pitch. Well, next year, this time, as we look at Escobar, he's sitting here with uh, Veneta having developed a, another secondary pitch to go along with the great fastball and prove on that, that slider. I, I think his changeup is going to be key over the winter. Gives him a little something that he can have run away from a left handed hitter, take something off and mess with their timing. Right handers have a tough enough time against that slider. It's it's nasty, but remember the one in what was it San Diego? He had guys falling all over themselves. Yeah, and at 97 miles an hour. And when he starts to get a reputation of getting angry at times, he'll make things even better. A few bow ties every now and yeah. then. Yeah. Aaron Sebia draws a walk. It's a third walk. Three strikeouts for Pineda as well. Top of the order is Escobar. You know Escobar at the shortstop. Pineda beat these Blue Jays back on the 12th of April. He went seven and a third, five hits, two runs, one earned, two walks, and seven Ks. A 3 2 victory. You have to be a little bit concerned here early in the game already three walks for Michael. That is not like him. And what you don't want to do is start walking guys and then feel like you have to throw strikes you center the plate. And these Blue Jay hitters. Take advantage of that already one home run in the game for the Jays. One and one how about. First time here how about the, remember that the set Luis uh, Rodriguez. Game one. Brings him back from seven nothing. Pineda wins game two and Toronto got the third game. In the hole, Jack Wilson to Ackley and they get the runner Aaron Sebian. That'll do it for the Blue Jays here in the second inning. Nothing across. We go to the home second. The Mariners will have Wells, Olivo, and Robinson coming up. Meantime, Jim Tomey in his 20th season coming up on a historical milestone. It's our Sterling Savings Bank score today against the Tigers in the sixth. He crushed home run number 599 to left center field. And the next at bat in the seventh, he did it again, becoming just the eighth major league player to ever reach 600 home runs of the career. His wife and his kids were there at home plate to greet him. By the way, the Twins won. Nine six. Dave? Looked like his dad coming out there. That's a great scene. He and his dad being able to hug. That was wonderful. Hit it off of uh, Daniel Slareth, number 600. One of the all time good guys in oh, the game, Jim Tomey. Hall of Famer? Yes. Yes, I think so too. Jasper Wells, we talked about him in the pregame show, homered in each of his last two games. Checked 
down it to McClellan. And he did go one and two. Wells three for seven on the homestand. On his three game inning streak. Go inside in the count, and you can see that fastball run in there and hit him in the backside. Wow. That was loud, too. Sure was. Now, Miguel Olivo, home run and RBI leader for the Mariners. 14 overs, 49 runs, batted in. Ripped there by Miguel. 0 for 4 yesterday, looking for a second hit on the homestand. He's 1 for 8. A lot more breeze coming in from the left field foul pole than we've had the last three days. 1 and 1. There's the AL East. Boston just left here. Mariners beat them two out of three. The Yankees come to town in September. And there's a look at your standings. Tampa Bay will be the next stop on the road for the Mariners. Tampa Bay is going to have a say in who wins that division. They have a lot of games remaining with both Boston and New York. To right field, Bautista pretty much in his tracks. One out. Hey, we're Canada. I tell you, size, we just won rally fries. A, <laughs> get a couple of points in their building, eh? Shoot that puck, score that goal. <laughs> <laughs> Imploring grandma to watch. I like that. Not bad. Trayvon Robinson played Friday night against Boston. One for four, struck out a couple of times. Mariners in their first look at Henderson Alvarez. Been a strike thrower everywhere he's been in Major League in uh, in baseball since signing. Well, he also throws hard, 97 miles an hour changeup at 81. Does this sound familiar too? He was signed as an international free agent at the age of 16. Hour and a half on the deadline for Major League Ball Clubs to sign all their draft picks. It'll be interesting to see the Danny Holton, the kid from the pitcher yep. from Virginia. See if Jack Sorensic and company can get his name on a document. Big day for all the organizations to get their guys signed. 1 1 to Robinson. Wells at first, not a big lead. 2 and 1. Remember the Doug, the Doug Fister, David Pauley deal that brought Charlie Furbush and Casper Wells over here tomorrow. The Mariners will be able to learn who that player to be named later is. That's coming out of what last year's draft. Supposedly a very highly regarded youngster. Two balls, one strike. Trayvon Robinson. Hit pretty well. Deep left field. Going back. Thames going back. Can't make the catch. Wells had to hold up to make sure. Getting a big wave on from Jeff Dats. He's coming around. And holding it second with an RBI double is Trayvon Robinson. It's 2-1 Toronto. RBI for Robinson, his second. And Trayvon, boy, he put a charge into that one going oppo again. His second double. 
He's shown that the ability hitting left handed to drive the ball the other way. Thames playing shallow gets back and it looks like he actually gets a glove on it. As he tries the over the shoulder catch goes right off the pinky in his glove. So Robinson trying to find his way in the big leagues he ends up with a double and drives in a run as Casper well is able to score from first he'll hesitate when he gets to second he's not sure. And as soon as that ball hits the ground, he takes off again. Jeff Datz being aggressive and sends him all the way. Scores easily. Good speed for Wells. Robinson can run as well. Here's Seeger. One out, two one ball game. Okay, Al Seeger two for seven on the home stands. You look at Robinson, second double. And gets back safely. Well, skipped up there. Really good play by Aaron Seavey. Had one to keep it in front of him, but two to get to it quickly because Robinson, he took a couple of steps towards third. One for four yesterday. Got a double. Make that a single to right. He's ahead two and zero. Oh. And right now Henderson Alvarez just continues to pump fastballs in there. Toronto with their two runs and a two run homer by Thames. Robinson's cut it to two to one. And Seager trying to pick him up. Three and one. Thirty pitches. Alvarez, nineteen strikes. 27 fastballs out of the 30 pitches he has thrown. 3 1 pitch. In there for strike. Alvarez, Major League debut against the A's. Five and two thirds, eight hits, three earned runs, a homer, a walk, and four strikeouts. This is start number two in his big league career. Half pitch. Walked in. So the lead runs aboard for the Mariners. First walk issue by Alvarez. Runners at first and second. One out for Jack Wilson. Jack Wilson getting a good run at shortstop these days with Brendan Ryan on the disabled list. Brendan hoping to be back. The ball club's playing down in Tampa St. Pete this coming weekend. At the very least sometime in Cleveland. Strike one to Jack. One for four yesterday. Mr. Wilson. And a couple of outstanding plays from Jack. He has played some solid defense since taking over for Brendan Ryan as he went on the DL. This payoff speed pitch. One and one. Big series down in Anaheim, the Rangers and the Angels. Second inning, top of the second. It's Texas one nothing.
One one here to Jack Wilson. All right, two. Robinson, the runner at second. You got Seeger at first. You get a hole, he does. Robinson coming around. Bautista's got a good arm. He'll throw to third. Tying run scores. Seeger in safely at third. Jack Wilson to second. Mariners have tied it up at 2 2. Jack Wilson delivering. 11th RBI for Jack. Nice aggressive base running by Seeger. Take a look at it. You don't always have to hit it hard. He just punches it through the hole on the right side of the infield, trying to stay with it. Seeger going to third. You're right, too. If Batista had thrown an accurate throw to third, I think he would have been able to get Seeger. Lowry not able to handle the throw as Kyle slides in the third. Each row the chance to pick up two more. Jack Wilson in RBI. Robinson in RBI. Good productivity out of the bottom third of the order here. Each row grounded out the second. Get that off the end step one and one. He wears the latest, easily the latest way to choose in Major League Baseball. I think that one was above the shoe, right on his ankle. One on one to count. Zach Wilson at second, Kyle Seeger at third. Field. That's backing up things. That's going to be plenty for Seeger to score. Seeger going to third. Jack Wilson will hold it. Second, the Mariners take the lead. 3 2 on a sacrifice fly by Ichiro. It's his 29th RBI. And for Ichiro, his second sacrifice fly of the season. Nice to see the Mariners pick up. Pick up that run. Mariners have been swinging the bats lately. They have 24 extra base hits over their last eight games. Already a couple of doubles in this one as they take the lead three to two. Swinging a miss by Franklin Gutierrez. He doubled down the left field line his first time. Seventh man to the plate here for the Mariners in the second inning. So right field backing up Bautista. He's got plenty of room. Good inning for the Mariners. They take the lead. Three runs. On two hits, no errors, they leave them in. It's 3 2 Mariners. So have uh, a good Taylor. They have the Jays, half the Mariners. I like it. <laughs> Got a couple jerseys, split them up, and let's go. Well done. Hot Couture. Nice hop. Ackley takes care of it. Throws out Eric Thames, who had a two run homer. So he's seen two pitches this evening. One out. ATT trivia question time. Which team is the defending American League East champion? Seriously, which team's American League East defending champion? Sox, Yankees, Rays, or Jays? Curtis trying to give him a layup tonight. I guess so. Text ABC or D to 95323. One out here in the third. And here's Mr. Bautista. Beta went right after him, striking him out on three pitches. He was 
firing fastballs above the belt. Batista was gashing away at him, but couldn't catch up to any of them. Made it working at a rapid rate, two and one. Three and one. What does he take? A hack. Three and two. Again, another fastball, 94 miles an hour above the belt. He's thrown it by him. They have pitch three and two. Boston. That is the fourth walk by Pineda. We're just in the third inning. And that's why his pitch count is at 50 now. There you go. 22 in the first, 21 in the second. Seven pitches so far here in the third. First baseman Adam Lind, he grounded out the third. First time up. Toronto took a 2 nothing lead in the first. Second batter of the game, Eric Thames hit a two run homer. Mariners responded in the bottom of the second inning, RBIs by Ichiro, Robinson, and Wilson to take a 3 2 lead. Double play depth. Not a big lead by Baptista. Pretty well hit. Right field. Ichiro watches it leave. Brother Adam Lynn his homer to two run shot. And Toronto back on top four to three. For Adam Lynn his 21st home run. RBI 67 and 68. Adam gets an off speed pitch. Looks like he's out in front of it, but able to keep his hands back just long enough. Squares it up. It's a change up. And it looked like it went right off the top of the fence as it bounced into the stands. There it is, right off the top of the fence. Michael not happy with that change up. Four walks for Michael. Two of them have scored. It's a problem. Back one to Encarnacion. He was the second walk of the evening. As is the case when Toronto comes to town, a lot of their fans have driven down from British Columbia or even journeyed as far from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Charging is Jack Wilson. Throws out Encarnacion to that. Coming up on Monday, August 29th, Angels will be in town. Mariners and Sanyo, they honor the rich heritage of Japanese baseball in the Pacific Northwest. First 15,000 fans, you're going to get a Mariners rally towel. It's thanks to Sanyo. For tickets, visit Mariners.com or any Mariners team store. Couple of two run homers tonight here for the Blue Jays. They're back on top, so Seesaw. A fair very early. Colby Rasmus struck out on a 2 2 pitch. on two hits for the Jays three runs three hits for the Mariners. Yeah, those two hits left the ballpark. Well, 
things we talk about a lot, Dave, is the solo home runs are okay, but you start walking guys and turn them into two and three run homers, we're going to have some issues. Yeah, look at the great pitchers over the years, the great ones, they're going to give up their share of home runs, but trying to limit them to solo shots as Pineda strikes out Rasmus. That'll end the inning, but another two run homer by the Jays. This one by Adam Lind, and Toronto's back on top as Pineda walks to the dugout just shaking his head. Jays and the Blue Jays right now with a 4 3 lead. Two run homers, Ackley. Leading off takes a strike one. Ackley Carpin Wells here in the bottom of the third. Pitchers throwing hard. Both of them struggling to work ahead. Way up there in the third deck. <laughs> they can help him out and come down a couple of rows, Dave. <laughs> I think that's what might be the person <laughs> telling me. Hey, I don't know if I got that in my bag. <laughs> two and two. Ackley, Kerp, and Wells. Mariners, this response in the second inning. Take the lead, but get right back. Drop down to the first baseman, Lind, will take it himself. We visit our AT&T trivia question. This team won the American League East last year. Well, six percent of the fans went with the Jays. Majority went with the Rays. Sounds like the old comedy bit. You can call me Ray. You can call me Jay. Survey says Tampa Bay. We'll see the Rays. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Later on this week. Mike Carp looking to continue his hitting streak. It's at 14, the major's longest right now. As Douglas was ended at 33 yesterday. Oh. Driven deep to left. Thames long run towards the gap. Mike Carp. That's his fifth of the year. The hitting streak lives at 15. And we get a tie ball game. 4-4. Four, four. Nothing like a little confidence. Mike told me before the game, hey, I know I'm going to play every day. It keeps me in my normal rhythm. That's what I did down at Tacoma. And it's paying off big time. And with that home run, a 16th RBI for the month of August. Now let's take a look at it. He gets a fastball. 96 miles an hour and drives it out to left field. So he hits it into the Blue Jays bullpen, tied the ball game up. Mike Carp. It's fun to watch, isn't it? Sure is. The confidence is amazing. Not that it was not that it was ever bad, but it's just like he's now as you know, as you know along the road of maturity as a major league ball player. The, the confidence and, of what you said, Dave, the confidence of knowing he was going to yep. get to play. Mm -hmm. I, I think that makes a big difference in young players. And Mike was having a lot of success at Triple A this year. So he says, "Hey, if I have an offer, so what? I'll come back and get two tomorrow." Impressive home run, hitting the ball the other way. High score, Mike Carp hitting streak at 15, 416 feet. Shortstop Escobar backhands long throw just getting. 
Two outs here in the Mariner third for each home run. That's hit by a Mariner player. Alaska Airlines donates 10,000 miles to our Make a Wish Home Runs for Wishes program. You can donate your own miles to Make a Wish at AlaskaAir.com. Miguel Olivo flat out to right. Season. And both pitchers getting their pitch counts up. 73 last in the American League. A couple home runs by Toronto. 138. They started the day fifth. Michael Panetti back in the game. One, two. Two to Olivo. Check him out. Aaron Sebia throws down. Complete the play. First strikeout for Alvarez. He gives up a home run to Carp. That man right there ties it at 4 4 after three. You know, it's just confidence. You know, manager and me, and you know, me being able to get out there and play every day it makes makes it a lot more uh, uh, comfortable. Obviously, you know, uh, go out there, have consistent at bats, playing time. You know, I can play left field, DH, first base. So, it's having a lot of fun with the utility and just just getting my at bats. As long as I'm in the batter's box, you know, it's going to be going to be a lot lot easier for me to hit. Well, he certainly is comfortable. That is for sure. Hitting streak, the 15 games longest in the major leagues to the moment. He's played well at first base too. Yeah. A couple of good plays down there. Already picked a ball earlier in the game for Kyle Seeger. Ball in the dirt. First baseman by trade is Lowry. Fred Lowry with his second at bat. He struck out on a 2 2 pitch. Well, he steps into one. Brett Lowry. Deep to left and gone. And the kid from Langley, British Columbia, unloads. That's his third home, and a lot of fans here in the building like it. Mariner fans don't. It's 5 4 Toronto. Another off speed pitch from Michael. This time it looked like a slider that he left right in the middle of the plate. Take a look at it. Now it's a changeup again. There's a changeup, middle of the plate, and he hammers it into the back of the Jays' bullpen. It's recently called up three home runs for him already. Three home runs hit by the Jays tonight. We got ahead in the count one and zero, oh and delivered for the Jays. Aaron Hill, the hitter, lined out hard to Ackley in second. Four hundred nine feet on that blast by Laurie. He's been hurt on two changeups. His third best pitch. Three home runs given up in this game by Pineda. That's the most he's given up in a game. Seager, tough Robert. play. He said. Run and a dribbler for a base hit brings up the catcher J.P. Aaron Sebia. It's a good try by Kyle Seeger, but he was playing back. Comes in with the bare hand to play another pick for Carp over at first, but Aaron Hill is well past the bag. That'll be an infield base hit for him. Two 
first tip that's not a home run for Toronto. CB has got some in spite of his low batting average he's got 19 homers 54 runs batted in he's in the nine hole got to be careful with this guy as well. Aaron Laffey getting loose in the Mariners bullpen. <laughs> like well now this will be the 68th pitch for him. He's having to throw a lot of pitches. Mariners aware of the amount of innings that he has pitches Aaron gets loose. Well, the education of the young man continues, eh? Part of the deal is talented as he is, everybody gets hit from time to time. And the thing he's going to look back on is two of the home runs being hit on his changeup. Runner goes, they got him picked off. And oh, oh brother. Brian Rungy said that Dustin Ackley missed him all together. It looks like a bad call. Typically that's an automatic. You are out. Eric White said, what do you got? Well, it comes in and looks like he slides short of the bag. Ackley expecting him to slide into it. And I think Dustin misses him the first time, but I don't know how he missed him the second time. You can see Aaron Hill pull himself back. He may misses him. Let's see. The next part. Looks like he got him on the foot. Well, that's an out, and he blew it. Uh, he's clearly out right there. Before his hand was near the base, he touched him again. Most of the time, that's automatic. Brian Runge, you can see him standing there looking right at it. Says he missed him, and then he comes back and tags him. Wow. A stolen base credited to Hill. Nobody out. A week, huh? <laughs> Straight. Look at this play. You can see Hill fighting to slide short. Oh, he got him right there. Yeah, Boy. yeah. Right on the shin. Oh, and two to Aaron Sebia. Yeah. Oh, and two strikes. He's still muttering to himself. I can understand. All oh, two strikes there in CB. Five four Toronto to something off of that. Found it. Lead hand not to the bag. There's contact right there. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Oh, man. One two pitch. Michael's pitch count continues to climb 72 pitches. Nobody out here in the fourth already 12 here in the fourth with nobody out. Bloody elbow for his troubles. Stopped by Olivo two balls two strikes. These are not the splits we're used to seeing from Michael 73 pitches 42 strikes 31 balls. Faced 18. Batters first pitch strikes just 10 first pitch strikes. Normally he is working ahead and pounding the strike zone that hasn't been the case today. Strike three call. Aaron CB I can't believe it. He disagrees with Corey Blazer. And they don't will take it. That's his fifth strikeout. One down here in the fourth inning. We take a look at the Mariner calendar brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Great shot there fellas. Toronto the next two days 
Thursday is a flight day, making a diagonal flight northwest to the southeast to Tampa St. Pete, then go to Cleveland. You see the double dip on the 23rd. Come home for the White Sox. Escobar brush back. Three home runs given up by Pineda. Previous high was two, and that happened on two occasions. Swing and a miss. He gave up two home runs to the Rangers back on the 4th of May and two to the Angels. That was in Anaheim on July 9th. That was a great example of what a fastball inside will do. It opens things up on the outer half. Escobar about fell down, swinging at a slider and missed it by a foot. Two balls, one strike. I don't think either pitcher are real happy with the strike zone home plate, Corey Blazer. I haven't seen him miss too many of them, though. This is the close pitches he's going to make and throw it on the plate. Boy, swing the bat. He's, he's been consistent with it. Yes. He's been consistent. Yes, I agree. And I like it, but he's been consistent. Two and one. Off speed pitch hit down to Jack Wilson. Throws over to get Escobar. Advancing to third is Hill. Two outs. Two outs here in the fourth. Final back on top five for the annual Boeing salute to kids that's coming up Sunday August 28th Mariners and White Sox square off 110 start kids 14 and under you're going to take home a Felix Hernandez t-shirt plus youngsters 6 to 14 you can enter right now at any Mariners team store for honorary ballpark jobs for that day for tickets to salute the kids day visit Mariners.com slash tickets. It's about the fifth trip to take right? I would think so. Popped up playable. Seeger will take it. And then will do it. Another home run by the Blue Jays. Their third. We go to the home fourth. And that little slugger, he wants in on the action too. Five four Jays. Change things up. And ride Sound Transit to work. You're going to save money and your sanity. Visit SoundTransit.org for details. <laughs> <laughs> Broken nose or not, he's still smoking hot. <laughs> nice work. Henderson Alvarez will be facing off against Trayvon Robinson. He doubled to left his first time. Scored on the Jack Wilson RBI single. That was in the second when the Mariners rallied from being down 2 0. Two to Trayvon. All right. Worth the trip. Yeah. Pay attention. Takes an aggressive hack, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I, I like think it's it. a fastball. He turns it loose. Your strength going the opposite way. How about this? I'm up there. <laughs> Pineda Colada. <laughs> That's nice. One, two. All right, three call. Back to back K's now for Alvarez. He's got two. There's one out here in the third. Check that the fourth big point.
Tell you what, plenty of good eats here at the ballpark, Safeco Field. Earlier we showed you Jim Tomey hitting career home run number 600. Our good friend Ken Griffey Jr. said uh, it's an honor and a privilege to welcome another member to the 600 home run club, especially someone like Jim Tomey, who's not only just a great baseball player, but a great person as well. Second man. One one pitch. Good crowd. Twenty eight thousand five hundred thirty. Monday night with Toronto in town. Two one. One blooper. Just want to go to things. Two outs. Jack Wilson, RBI single to right his first time. I thought it was a really good at bat from Jack. He had the battle, foul off some tough pitches, ended up hitting a really good pitch. Pitch that was away from him, punches it through the hole on the right side to drive in a run. This is a batting average up to 248 now. Out back. Strike one. Mariners really are ailing. You know about smoke with a broken nose. Ryan's got the shoulder problems and knees a little bit dinged, but the shoulder's his biggest concern. Adam Kennedy's got a heel problem. You know, Wedge, Eric Wedge said he would play if we asked him to. <laughs> I liked what he said. Listen, Adam Kennedy's done everything for us and more. It's time that we take care of him, get him some rest, and let him. Heal up so he can get back in there. One one. Punch shot. Is it enough? It is. Base hit. Two for two. Night here for Jack Wilson. That'll push his average up over 250 now with that base hit. That is a walk. I mean, that is a big time walk, and I like it. Give me a small serving. Try not to do the largest anymore. Just give me a small. All right, give me the rest then. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, who twisted your arm? <laughs> Holy <laughs> man! Well, I'm just gonna say, I'd say go to waste. <laughs> go for the small. There you go. Here's Cicero picked up an RBI and a sacrifice fly last time. Quick throw by Aaron Cibian. We'll see back safely. Two outs here in the Mariner fourth. Picked up by each row's 29th. We're talking about Jack Wilson. He is swinging that well, as are a lot of members. Nine for his last 17 and five for nine on the homestead. For Jack Wilson. Brendan Ryan out. Take a lot of time to play and making the most of it. Goes chopper foul. I like it. You throw him out with two outs. You have Ichiro leading things off for you next inning. If he gets down, there, you have a chance to drive in a run. It's worth the gamble to send him. One and two. Wilson holds. And each one takes the ball. Two and two.
Alvarez doing a good job keeping Wilson close. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs to each run. Jays by one. They've hit three home runs. Two run homers by Thames and Lind, and a solo shot by Brett Lari. Jack takes off. Dribbler in front of the mound. Taken by the pitcher Alvarez. Throws out. Each run the Mariners have done in the fourth. Five for Toronto. In the fifth. Hey, I've got more preseason accolades in Cheney for you today. The Eagles landed atop the FCS preseason top 25. In fact, they gained 90 of the 140 possible first place votes. As you may remember, Bo Baldwin's squad rattled off 11 wins on their way to a national title. The Eagles opened their season on Root Sports September 3rd at 4 o'clock against the Washington Huskies. Dave, Mike. All right, Angie, thank you. Jose Bautista to lead it off. I like it was just Division 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, I agree. It was easier that way, wasn't it? <laughs> Really hard down to Ackley, and he takes care of Bautista. Bautista tonight, a strikeout, a walk, <laughs> run, scored, and a ground up. That is great. <laughs> Most the MVP. <laughs> she thinks so. Mm hmm. Adam Lynn last time up 1 0 pitch Homer to right. Three home runs the most given up by Pineda in a game twice he's given up two. 82 pitches in his splits have not been good today. Oh, well. He is on fire. A different ball club. Thank goodness for plastics. Leave it took one there. Blue Jays, 12 and a half back, fourth place American League East behind Boston, New York, and Tampa Bay. Three and one. There's base hit. Boy, if you leave pitch up against these guys, they're going to hurt you. I already saw a ground ball to Ackley. It was hit on the button by Batista. A base hit from Lynn, and Laffey will get loose again in the Mariners' pen. Michael, right now at 86 pitches, and Carl Willis, I'm sure, talking to Eric Wedge about. Stress pitches. We hear that a lot from pitching coaches, and Michael's had a couple of those innings. Have several at bats here. H H hit hard. Five four ball game. Eric Thames first pitch he saw two run homer, right field in the first inning. Yikes. Deep drive, left field. Robinson at the track. That thing jumped off his back. Encarnacion bidding for a home run. May have had some action in the Sky Dome, but not here at Safeco Field. Trayvon gets back in good shape. He's not sure. Nice job by Robinson. Colby Rasmus twice has struck out.
Next pitch will be 90 for Michael, and I'm sure he gets Rasmus out. That'll be it for him. This day is done. Cal Evans at one and one. in the right field base hit on the third Lynn throw by Ichiro cut off and now off of Wilson's glove Rasmus holds at first so first and third with two outs for the Jays here in the fifth they lead five four here's a reminder that when you're traveling outside the Northwest this season take the Mariners with you wherever you go subscribe to MLB.tv today you'll see every Mariners game live or on demand on your computer and your favorite devices Visit Mariners.com to order. Get more details on MLB.tv baseball everywhere. And Carl Willis come out of the dugout, have a conversation with Michael. Just trying to get him through this inning. He's given up five runs on six hits. He already walked four batters. A couple of them have scored. Blue Jays have hit three home runs. Lowry coming to the plate. He's the one that hit one of them, a solo home run to lead off the fourth. All balls hit and play in this inning have been hit extremely hard. Now that gives you another indication of where he's at because it's one thing to give up a couple of hits, but when the outs are hit on the button too, it's that's scary time. But I think Eric Wedge would like to see him finish this inning, and Carl Willis maybe telling him this is going to be your last hitter. 91 pitches now for Michael. Fred Laurie, 1 0 pitch, last time up, homered into the bullpen left field. He's got runners at the corners, two outs here. Six hits now on the board for Toronto, five runs, six hits. Four runs, five hits for the Mariners. Laurie's sister, Danielle. Ace pitcher at the University of Washington. We had her up here what two years ago after the national yep, championship. Couple years. First strike. I think after this experience for uh, Mr. Pineda and some of the other things that have happened to him this year he'd be the first to tell you man I better get that slider at the change up like you talked about got to get those sort of high level efficiency swing to miss swing to. He, he has to he has to be able to get him somewhere near the plate to where the hitters have to at least respect it and can't just sit on his fastball. Two pitch. Strike three call for Pineda with a good punch out there. Half a dozen strikeouts through five, trailing five to four here at Safeco Field. Lori, it's a 5 4 Toronto lead for Henderson Alvarez. There's Brett, the third baseman. Recently called up, off to a good start in his big league career. Franklin Gutierrez to lead it off. Goody, Ackley, Cart in the fifth. Franklin one for two in the game. Got a double his first time up. That double extended his hitting streak to eight games now. Two. Sat down now. Dan Cortez. Cortez come out and pitch the sixth inning. Two to get the edges. 
back. Blue Jays come in having taken two out of three from the Angels up in Toronto. Right now the Angels are getting pounded by the Rangers five to one in the fifth inning. We have both picked Texas to win the win the American League West. Five starters with at least ten wins. They get great bullpen depth now. And that hitting is ridiculous. Especially in it's, their ballpark. Yeah. <laughs> two and two. We have to see Cleveland next week. Cleveland's two and a half back, and then when we get home again for the next homestand, one deck is active. Chicago White Sox, as we stand here right now, they're four back starting this after starting today. Franklin gets into a high and deep left field, but it's hooking foul. Just one home run for Gutierrez. May 25th against Minnesota. Pops this one up. Laurie makes the play. One out here in the fifth. Turn that for a banner bank building to the future. How about Erasmo Ramirez at Tacoma? Good outing yesterday. Eight and a third of 11 Ks, no walks. And with Tacoma so far, three starts, a 3 0 record. 3.26 ERA. Stanackley looks at strike one. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Ground to short, ground to first, ground to second, and ground to first. And Alvarez now mixing in more off speed pitches. Started the game just firing fastballs, but that's back to back change ups from Alvarez. Eighty six total pitches for him. Back up the middle. Strategically placed there. Escobar and he throws out Ackley. Two down. Go what if they made the flight from Venezuela? There's the hottest hitter the Mariners have. Mike Cart, 15 game hitting streak. 1 1 pitch. Opposite field home run. Drove it a long ways into the bullpen. Seattle Times reporting that Mariners' second and eighth round picks have been signed. About 11 minutes to the deadline. Long run for Thames. Not going to get there. One one pitcher Carp last time hit at 416 feet here, Mike. I just like the way he goes the other way with it. He gets a fastball to hit. He is going to turn it loose. So a lot of line drives. That one he's able to elevate and hit it into the bullpen. Strike. Didn't like it. One and two. Home run is fifth. Two and two. Full count now. Alvarez working against Carp. Two outs here in the fifth. On deck is Casper Wells. Jump the foul. Comes with a changeup. Gaining more and more confidence in his off speed pitches. 93 pitches total now for Alvarez.
Took him out. Boy, that's good ending for that kid. Henderson Alvarez. One, two, three in the fifth go the Mariners. Five, four, Toronto. And three to one Wednesday. A Safeco Insurance Grand Slam Family Package Night. Mariners and the Blue Jays close out this three-game series with a great package for you. It starts at just $14 per person for groups of 4 to 12. And you're going to get a hot dog, a Pepsi, and a ticket to the game. Come on, take advantage of this offer. Visit Mariners.com slash specials. All right, flying the colors. Way to go, young man. New pitcher for the Mariners. Not a surprise that they have lifted Michael Pineda after five innings. Dan Cortez gets the call. Dan, just four innings pitch for him. You get to record a strikeout, three walks. Go Mariners, go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Good teamwork. That is great. Well done, folks. <laughs> Very nice. Time called. That's great. Good start for Cortez with the strike to Aaron Hill. Hill, Aaron Sebia, and Escobar, eight, nine, and one here in the sixth. Certainly rushes fastball up to the plate. I think Carl Willis and Eric Wedge would like to see as him command the strike zone. Be able to get some of the secondary pitches over at times. Bouncing ball foul. There you go. That fastball at 96 miles an hour. Hill a hard line out to second base and an infield hit. He stole the base as well. That was a disputed play down at second base. Looked like Ackley clearly got him. Come back. Tess to Cart one out. Numbers for Michael. 94 pitches for Michael tonight. 56 of them strike. Six strikeouts. Four walks. Nah, it's not what we're used to seeing out of him. He only gave up six hits. Unfortunately, three of them left the ballpark. Three home runs the most he's given up in a game. And four walks. Second time he's done that. He's also had a couple of games where he gave up five. Good looking pitch. Good looking plate. At the bottom of the strike zone and can't get the call. There you go. 96 miles an hour. Up that a play off the bat of Aaron Sebia. As you mentioned earlier, Corey Blazer's been consistent. He hasn't given anybody that low strike zone right now. No, no. Plate. Anything that's on the edge is whether it's been at the bottom or the top of the strike zone or just off the corners. He, he's not giving you that pitch. And the best way to work in that case, because he's going to make you throw it on the plate, is work ahead of hitters. If you fall behind and they know that you have to center something, you're going to get hit hard, and we've seen that tonight. Two and one. Good move. Two and two. There the CB fouls it off. Two and two. Test game over from Kansas City. Unieski Bettencourt court deal back in July of 09. Off speed pitch did not go. Full count.
half pitch there and see you. Levo sets up outside and that's drilled in the left field base hit. One out base runner, sixth inning for Toronto with a 5 4 lead. Top of the order coming up, Yunel Escobar. They're not missing many fastballs in the middle of the plate, are they? No. It, you know, when we were looking at the schedule, I mean, we saw all these just big banger teams coming in. Pitching has got to be sharp. Chance for two. Taylor made addition. Bingo. Got it. Needed it too. So Escobar bounces into a double play that will do it for Toronto. Jays lead it 5-4. Mariners baseball and root sports is brought to you by Snoqualmie Casino, Seattle's premier entertainment, gaming, and dining destination. By Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance, and by Sterling Savings Bank. Visit one of our 178 branches or go to sterlingsavingsbank.com. Dave? All right, Angie, thank you very much. Nice night here at Safe Go Field. Glad you could join us, everybody. Dave Sims, Mike Lowers, root sports crew, Mariners Dan will run. They'll send Casper Wells, Miguel Olivo, and Trayvon Robinson. Against Henderson Alvarez here in the sixth. Four in a row, six of the last seven retired by Alvarez. He's got three strikeouts, one walk. Giving up a solo home run to Mike Carp. Four and runs on five hits. And with 95 pitches, it's a match out in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Got a chance. It does. It drops in. Base hit for Wells. Some rally fries here, Mike. Good a time as any. Yeah, let's get it started. Mariners down a run. We have Terry. She's here from Aberdeen at the ballpark tonight. She's actually getting married next week, so congratulations to her. She'll get married in Aberdeen. <laughs> She's the one with the white hat on. So there you go. You cross that one off the list. <laughs> The fear we send a little love to Justin Smoke too with a sign. John. <laughs> Can't help you with number five. Yeah. You're out of yeah. luck there. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> That'll do it for young 21 year old Henderson Alvarez. John Farrell comes to get him here in the sixth. A pitching change. Jesse Litch will take over for Toronto in this 5 4 Jays lead. Major League Baseball. Visit Facebook.com slash Budweiser to see how you can help support our nation's heroes. The three home runs hit by Toronto, one by the Mariners tonight. Jesse Litch takes over. If you thought Josh Beckett was slow, wait till you see this guy. Former starters had his struggles. He's been in the bullpen now. Let's take a look at Henderson Alvarez's numbers. 96 pitches for him, 62 strikes. Three strikeouts, just one walk. He's given up four runs. All of them earned. He is responsible for Casper Wells, who is at first base now, and his night is done. He's hoping that Jesse Lish can hang on to this game for him. To the ERA 4.25, opponents average 2.48. And into Olivo. Olivo 0 for 6 against Lich. Miguel tonight, fly to right, and a strikeout. Looks done a heck of a job against right-handers this year. They're hitting just a buck fifty-seven against them. Robinson's on deck. Trayvon one for two. Has a double. RBI and scored a run. Back with the strike three and one. Wells 
not a big lead at all. Three and one to count. Breaking ball. Hits to the shortstop. Escobar Hill throws over. Nice scoop. No, couldn't hold on. Lynn tried to pick it. Fielder's choice. Get Olivo aboard. Does it firmly look like it was going to be a double play ball? Escobar gets rid of it quickly, makes a bad throw as Hill scrambles around trying to find the base. And Lynn can't make the pick. One out, one on for Robinson. RBI double to left and a strikeout looking tonight. Levo's five out of nine of base deal. Pitch in there for strike. So Henderson Alvarez, five plus innings, left with a lead. Down the line. Trayvon Robinson hit the ball the other way a lot left handed. It's a good thing letting the ball travel and be back. See him get a fastball in the middle of the plate, middle end, and see if he can turn on it. So look at this last swing. This pitch is off the plate away. Tries to serve it down the left field line. Just foul. O2 pitch. That'll get down for a base hit. Base hit for Robinson. First and second for the Mariners. With the one out. The tying and lead runs are aboard. Again, just serves soft line drive into left field. He's been a switch hitter for five years now. Normally a right-handed hitter, so left-handed. Something he's worked at to work hard on, and here he is in the big leagues and another base hit to left. Good news. I'm told that the Mariners did sign their number one pick from Virginia, left-hander Danny Holtz. Good Great news. news. Great news. Yes. Deadline just passed a few minutes ago, about nine minutes ago. Here's Seager. Ball one to Kyle. Walk a run scored and a fly to left. Spoke to Jack Zarenzik a couple of weeks ago, and he seemed confident they were going to get that done. So that's good news for the organization. Congratulations to everybody. Ground ball to Hill. Escobar for one. Lynn for two. Mariners are done in the sixth. Threatened. Don't score. Seventh inning coming up. 5 4 Jays. To five as we head into the seventh inning. Jose Bautista making his way out of the dugout. Leads the major leagues in home runs. And the next two behind him. We check in on him. Curtis Granderson, one behind him. He was 0 for 3 today. He walked twice. Mark Teixeira did get a hit, but it was not a home run. He was 1 for 3 with an RBI. So far, Bautista today, 0 for 2, but has also reached on a walk. Back upstairs. All right, Angie, thank you. Jose Bautista, what a year. Led the majors in home runs last year, won the Hank Aaron Award for Outstanding Offensive Player in the American League. He's going to bat second here in the seventh inning. Eric Thames will lead it off. Cortez. Second inning of work for him. Well, 
will hit left field, backing up Robinson on the track. He's there for the catch. He's a good-looking player, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, he had just when we were there in July. They just, just come up, up yeah. yeah, about a week or so. Remember, he's a Bay Area kid. Yeah, hitting 271 with seven home runs coming into the game. Here's Bautista, strikeout, walk, run, scored, and a hard ground out to second base. The majors in home runs last year, 54 on the season. 54 home runs, a club record, best in George Bell's 47. Two one to Bautista. Win one. First time Cortez seeing the Blue Jays. Three one. Base hit. Mike put another HH beside that one. It's not all bad though. He's standing at first base. You would be correct, <laughs> sir. 34 home runs on the year. Keep him in the ballpark. One out runner on. Root Sports is looking for the biggest Mariner fans in the Northwest throughout the season. We're going to be going state to state to find the most passionate fans in our region. This month we want to hear from devoted fans in Idaho. So log on right now. RootSports.com. Show us what you've got. Show us why you're one of the Mariners' ultimate Northwest fans. Hitters Adam Lind. He's had a heck of a night. Two for three. Hit a two run homer in the third and a single to left in the fifth. That you want to get yourself into. The old song, Danger Zone. He's in it. Hitter Edward Edwin and Pernacio. Three and one that count here to Lind. Fly ball left field towards the line. Robinson's there and makes the catch for the second out. Two outs, one on. Let's take a look at our high speed pitch brought to you by CenturyLink. Starters, impressive. Two youngsters, boy, that's that's impressive. That's what we were expecting, and that's what we saw. Unfortunately, Henderson Alvarez and Michael Pineda, neither one of them really sharp in the game today. They were throwing hard. Come back. But Tess takes care of it. It throws a nice couple of innings. Got a double head, double play to get out of the sixth. A couple of uh, ground balls and fly outs here. Five four. Davis. All on Root Sports is brought to you by AT&T. By Money Tree. Looking for a loan with more time to repay? Apply for a Money Tree. 
payday loan online at MoneyTreeInc.com. And by Budweiser, official beer of the Thurston and Great Times are on deck. Grab some Buds. Mariners down a run, 5-4. Fabulous night for baseball. Good crowd on hand, 28,530. Seventh inning stretch, and now Jack Wilson swinging a miss. Wilson, each row on Gutierrez, 9-1-2. and two. Jack with a couple of hits tonight. Average up to 253 now. Mariners have had a number of hitters that have been hot for them, and they need them to get hot here in the last few innings. Two runs in the first by Toronto on an Eric Thames home run. Bottom of the second, Mariners respond with three. Robinson with an RBI, Wilson, and then Ichiro. Top of the third, immediate retort by Toronto. Two run homer by Adam Lind. Mariners answer in the bottom of the third, home run by Mike Carp. And then Toronto goes on top in the fourth. Local guy. Brett Lowry with a home run. Leading off the fourth. Two to Jack, trying to ignite something here for the Mariners. Like Tom Wilhelmson will be next up for the Mariners as he gets loose in the Mariners. Gentleman on the right, Rick, with his two daughters. Happy birthday, Rick. Gonna miss. Jack Wilson's gone. Jesse Litch, first strikeout. The Mariners have not scored since the third inning. Tonight, the ground out to second, a sacrifice fly to tap her back to the pitcher. Two and oh. Field for Thames. Two out. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. Two outs here in the seventh. Franklin's been hot. Eight game hitting streak for him now, a double earlier. Maybe it's about time for him to hit a home run. Franklin with one home run on the year. I believe he hit that right after he came back, right? Yep, May 20, uh, May 25th. Starting to gain confidence, feeling better about things. Why not? Lynch off the mound, sets, throws, and gets it. One, two, three, go. The Mariners in the seventh. Eighth inning coming up, and Toronto still holding that one run lead at five to four. Today's Tracer Technology is brought to you by the Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Andrew Mentink here at the Northwest Ford Sports Desk. A story that Jack Sorensic shared with me a few years ago about Brett Lowry, who is on deck to start this inning. He drafted him back when Jack Sorensic was with the Brewers. They brought him 
to uh, Miller Park and they had him hit in the cage. That's pretty customary. Well, his sister, Danielle Laurie, was outside the cage screaming at her brother, Brett. Hey, let's go. Hit the ball. You're better than that. Let's do this. And Jack Sorensic's wondering, who in the heck is this gal? I want to draft her. <laughs> Back upstairs to David, Mike. And, of course, that's Danielle Laurie of University of Washington National Championship fame. Nothing like a little sibling bench jockeying. I like it. Tom Wilhelmson takes over for the Mariners, third pitcher tonight. Tenth game for Tom. You had a chance to look at his numbers. It's pretty simple. Ten walks in the 12 innings that he has pitched. He's to throw strikes. He has good stuff. We've seen him top out at 97 miles an hour, already throwing 96 here. But you have to be able to command the strike zone. Right now, that's an issue. 3 and 0. Oh. Back of the strike, 3 and 1. will take it off the bounce. Right now the difference in this ball game, the Brett Laurie home run leading off the fourth and here he is again. A man out of Langley, British Columbia. Throws him out, two outs. He may Wilhelmson make that play. That speed. Bronx Bombers, they're coming back to Safeco Field. Three game series. It starts Monday, September 12th. Make sure you do not miss Derek Jeter, Mark Tuscher, and the Yankees. They square off with each row Felix and the Mariners. Get your seats right now. Great weekend, uh, weeknight matchup. Yankees and the Mariners by going to Mariners.com slash tickets. Two outs, swing and a miss by Hill. Breaking ball gets one over. Bottom of the eighth inning, it'll be Ackley, Carp, and Wells. Good opportunity for the Mariners to score at least one run. Hopefully, a couple. Popped a short right. Each row coming in. And that'll do it for the Jays. Nice inning by Tom Wilhelmson after falling behind 3 0 with his first hitter. Well done. Being brought to you by Whitmer Brothers Brewing. Brewing without boundaries. Buy Pizza Hut, get any Pizza Hut pizza, any size, any topics for an amazingly low price when you carry out. And buy Jack in a Box, come try the new Jumbo Breakfast Platter for just $2.99 plus tax at Jack in a Box. Getting late for the Mariners, this is good an inning as any, get a couple on the board here, call on Mr. Lee. 5-4 Toronto, that lead is held up since the fourth inning. And the new pitcher is Trevor Miller. Trevor Miller on the mound. Bring the left hander in. You have Ackley and Carp. The left handed hitters to start this inning. Roush is up in the bullpen for the Blue Jays. A big right hander. Side armor. Real tough against left handers. Leads the majors among left handers in appearances since 2003. This is appearance number 586. Wow. Came over from St. Louis, eight player trade late July. Two 
Jack Swing charging shortstop throws him out. Escobar, nice play. Yeah. Bring up Mike Carp. Down the run. Mike with a 15 game hitting streak now has extended that streak with a solo home run earlier in the game. Let's take a look at John Roush. One two to Carp. Classic situational left the second time around here with the Blue Jays. He was with them back in 03. 02. Hart leads into one deep right field going back. Bautista. Tie ball game. Mike Hart has done it again. His second home run this evening. And his hot streak keeps rolling along. Mike Hart has tied this game up at 5 5 for Carp, his sixth home run. And his 26th RBI. Take a look at it. And one thing Mike is not doing is missing many mistakes. And Miller makes a huge mistake here. He leaves this pitch in the middle of the plate. And Mike just hammers it into the seats in right field. He wanted to throw the slider off the plate. And a no two count didn't get it there. And Mike Bart makes a pay for it. That ball. Long ride. Punch the ticket, tied the score, 5-5. Five, five. We're in the eighth, one out. The pitching change. Big John Roush coming in, six foot eleven. All of them coming in here in the eighth inning. This mayor offense over the last few weeks, and with that uh, home run, that was another Alaska Air Make a Wish home run. Two home runs tonight for Carp. Tied the ball game at 5-5. Five, five. John Rouse takes over. Trevor Miller. His 586 big league appearance. He's all majors in that category since 03. Gives up the game tying home run to Cart. Rouse is one of the bigger men you're going to see in the American League. And you would think he would throw. Harder than he does, but he really doesn't. He's going to be around 90 miles an hour with his fastball, throws a lot of sliders. Off tip. Out of play. His numbers a 4 3 5 ERA, 11 saves, and 16 opportunities. 34 strikeouts, just 13 walks. Giving up nine home runs. Drive deep to left. Going back, going back, gone! Mariners lead! Casper Wells with his third home run. He's gone three home runs in his last three games. How about that? Mariners have a 6 5 lead. Back to back home runs for the Mariners here in the eighth. Now they can get Brandon League up and at him. He is. He's up and throwing in a hurry. Oh, it's a lot of fun watching these young kids progress and do well. Casper Wells now has homered in three straight games. Take a look at this swing. Pitch out over the. That's really a good pitch off the plate away. As you look at the tracer, Casper hits it into the Blue Jays bullpen. He's got a good idea. Carp and everybody knew it. Mariners on top 6 5. Mariners now match the Blue Jays, both clubs, with three home runs apiece. Oh, that's a beautiful 
side. Another Alaska Air make a wish home run. Olivo line drive center field base hit. On an 0-2 pitch. So after the ground out by Ackley, home run, home run, single. Brandon Lee will be his time shortly. Third multi home run game for Mar for the Mariners this year. Last time they did it was June 3rd. Runner goes, Olivo. He is out to six. Two outs here in the eighth. Here's a throw and come on. Just like the movie Major League. Come on, come on, come on. Remember? Come on in here. Come on in here. And Miguel made a heck of an effort there. Well, not just that, but Escobar a little lax on the tag. Yeah, he almost right? ended up getting it down late. Jeez. The muscle men here for the Mariners in the eighth. Carp and Wells. Carps get two home runs. Wells with a home run tonight for the RBIs. Spread out nicely. Each row with one. Carp with two. Wells with one. Robinson's got a run. Batted in, and so does Jack Wilson. Right there, but showing really good power in the opposite field as a left-hand hitter, Trayvon Robinson, a three-hit night, three for four, his second double this evening. All three hits going the other way. Thought maybe he had a chance for a triple. He was burning around first. Makes a wise decision to cut, just go ahead and shut it down. Yeah, some pop. Yes, he does. Four hit inning for the Mariners. A couple home runs, a single, and a double. And never have enough. Let's see if Seeger can pick him up with two outs. So a late rally with a late inning lightning here by the Mariners. And they're ready to. After they finish scoring here, turn it over to their all star closing. Seeger's got a good count. I would imagine Brandon Lee, he always throws hard, but he may touch 100 pitching against his former ball club. Two no. Bring in Miller, he gets a ground out, gives up a game tying home run to Cart. Bring in Roush, he gives up a lead changing home run to Wells. Olivo with a single, he was caught stealing, and then Robinson a double to the gap in left center. Blue Jays will have nine, one, and two coming up. <laughs> and the Ackley guys, they came well prepared. Must be Carolina guys. <laughs> two and two as Roush and Aaron Sebia 
We'll go through the signs again. Swing and a miss. Great inning, though. Great inning. Kirk ties it. Wells gives the Mariners a chance to say it's Brandon League time here at 945 Pacific time. Going for his third straight save in as many days. 6-5 Mariners. For the Mariners and their fans, Brandon League is on. And he'll face 9-1-2. and two, Going for his third straight save in as many days. Saturday face six seven and eight in the order for Boston yesterday six seven and eight today nine one and two. Well, there you go ninety seven. Trying to work ahead of the hitters with his fastball that's been the recipe for Brandon. And then he'll go to his split to take a look at our Nissan shift to the bullpen Brandon Lee. He has been outstanding his numbers twenty nine save looking for his thirtieth here two eight five ERA for Brandon opponents average two twenty one. League coming over from the Toronto Blue Jays. Had a lot of buddies still on this ball club. Pitch with Toronto. 0 6, 7, and 8, and 9. 2 and 1. League pitch to 1, 2, 3, ninth. Close that yesterday's 5 3 win against Boston. Saturday, a 1 2 3 ninth to do the same. Olivo might have a play. Coming back, he does have a play. One out. The order now, you now Escobar. John Roush came in and gave up the lead home run to Casper Wells. That's the difference right now. Escobar tonight walk and run scored reached on the fielder's choice and a couple of ground outs to short. Mariners outfielders all playing deep. Seeger guarding the line at third. He's trying to take the doubles away. There's a bow tie. 98 miles an hour. Levo picked him up. <laughs> Never seen that one before. Take a look at it. Trying to go inside, and here you go at 98 miles an hour. I think Escobar's pulse rate is right now buzzing. At the end of the bat, two and one. Two and two here to Escobar. Hey, struck him out. Tagged by Olivo. Two outs. That is not fair if you're a hitter. 99 miles an hour on the corner, then he comes back with an 88 mile an hour split. You just basically have to pick your poison. There's no way you can see the ball and try to recognize it and still hit it at 99 miles an hour. And this has been. A real key to Brandon's success. Get ahead of him and then go to the split.
Fouled off of Olivo off the bat of Eric Thames, who's had a good night with the two run homer first pitch he saw in the first inning. And that's the reason why Olivo went to the split right there. Thames has been aggressive early in counts, and he went to the split and gets a strike with it. Oh one. Thames. Number one. Big hoop down right now between the Mariner fans and the Jays fans. One one the Thames. One run lead for the Mariners. The pitch. Line drive oh. just over the head. Our Seager tying runs aboard and oh baby they bring up Jose Bautista. That was an out you really, really, really wanted to get. You do, and, and with Brandon Lee, he makes a good pitch. It's a split finger just off of the plate. And Thanes cues it right off the end of the bat and flares it over the head of Seeger at third and ends up in left field. Early in the game, Michael Pineda was going at him with fastballs above the belt, and Batista was not able to catch up to him. Brandon Lee typically with the way he throws his angle on his fastball is down in the zone a little different story easier for Batista to get to it. Big boy confrontation here power on power major league home run leader first pitch from Lee to Bautista chopper charged by Seager throws got out Bears win it six to five they come from behind couple of home runs in the eighth they get it done. Casper Wells with a game winning home run. Mike Carp tied it right before that to get the Mariners right back in that as the ball clubs won four of five. League has saved the last three. Tom Wilhelmson gets his first big league win. John Rouse takes the loss. That is a beauty. The young guys in the lineup getting it done for the Mariners, including Carp, a couple of solo home runs for him. But how about Casper Wells is now homered in three straight games for the Mariners? Offensively, they are starting to get it done. They are getting extra base hits. You look in the game today, a number of them, three home runs, a couple of doubles, three doubles for them in the game. So offensively, the Mariners taking care of their business and come from behind, win late. And Brandon Lee, his 30th save of the season. Outstanding. When the Mariners hit three or more home runs, they're 4-0 this season, including tonight's win. Kyle Seeger with another five play. He got Bautista to top one. And the rookie from North Carolina charges and throws at the home run later, and that wins the ball game for the Mariners. The Sterling Savings game recap. Mariners, they responded nicely early, and then the home run by Lari in the fourth stood up until the eighth inning, and a couple of home runs by the Mariners. Carp and Wells win it for Seattle tonight. That is a terrific win. Let's go out to Brad and Bill. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much.